Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will discuss more about transformation. This is a lecture number four. In lecture one, we discuss translation in which size, shape, and orientation of object and image are same. If the size and shape are same and orientation is different, then there are two possibilities. Number one. reflection or number 2 rotation so in lecture 4 we will discuss reflection in figure 1 there is a girl standing in front of the mirror this is our object we can see the image of the girl in the mirror the mirror is perpendicular to the object and the image we can observe that the right hand of the object become the left hand of the image right foot of the object become left foot of the image so the image is reversed or we can say it is flipped or there is a lateral inversion of the image non figure 2 object is in front of the mirror and its image is formed in the mirror the mirror is perpendicular bisector of the object and the image so this means that the distance of the object and the mirror is equal to the distance of object and the mirror as we can see in figure 2 we notice that size and shape of the object and image are same but orientation is different in figure 1 we discuss that the object is in front of the mirror and its image is formed and this is the mirror the image is actually formed not in the mirror but it is behind the mirror as per the law of the physics and it is explained in figure 3 object is in the red color and its image is shown in the blue color the mirror is actually perpendicular bisector it divides into two equal parts the mirror is between them and the image is formed not in the mirror but it is actually behind the mirror and the mirror is actually perpendicular bisector what is bisector means mirror actually divide the distance between the object and the image into two equal parts and it is shown as the distance between the object and mirror is 6 meter and the distance between the mirror and the image is also 6 meter so they are both equally distant from the mirror and mirror is also perpendicular what does it mean the mirror makes an angle with the object as 90 degree and also it makes an angle 90 degree with the image so mirror is perpendicular bisector and the image is formed behind the mirror in figure 4 there is a reflection along x axis the line shows our x axis which can be treated as mirror here o is a object triangle and i1 is its image after the reflection along x axis we can label the vertices of triangle o as a b and c x axis is a mirror here size and shape of object and image is same but orientation is different if we note the corresponding vertices of object triangle o and image 1 then a corresponds to a dash b corresponds to b dash and c corresponds to c dash so image is reversed and corresponding vertices are equal distance from line of reflection as we can see in the 
figure. As we can see that A is one box away from line of reflection and A dash also one box away from X axis. B is one box away from line of reflection X axis and B dash is also one box away from the line of reflection which is X axis. C is five boxes away from line of reflection and C dash also five boxes away from line of reflection. Now we see that a reflection along Y axis between object O and image 2. We see that vertex C of object A is two boxes away from line of reflection Y axis and its corresponding vertex of image 2 is also two boxes away from line of reflection. Vertex B of object is two boxes away from line of reflection and its corresponding vertex of image 2 is also two boxes away from line of reflection. Vertex A of object A is five boxes away from line of reflection and its corresponding vertex of image 2 is also 5 boxes away from line of reflection. We can label the vertex of image 2 as A double dash, B double dash and C double dash. So in reflection along Y axis the vertices of object and image are equidistant from line of reflection. In figure 5 reflection along Y is equal to X that is yellow line which is treated as mirror or line of reflection. Now the red line is y is equal to minus x which is a line of reflection. The vertex O of object triangle O has perpendicular distance one box away from line of reflection y is equal to x and its corresponding vertex of image has also perpendicular distance one box from line of reflection. The second vertex of object and image have 1.5 box of perpendicular distance from line of reflection and the third set of vertices of object and image are 2.5 box boxes of perpendicular distance from line of reflection. We can see that one is perpendicular distance between object O and mirror which is equal to perpendicular distance between image and mirror. We can see the same process of reflection along y is equal to minus x. All the corresponding vertices of object and image are equidistant from mirror y is equal to minus x. So in reflection size of object is equal to size of image. Shape of object is equal to shape of image and orientation of object and image is not same. Now solving an example related to reflection along x-axis. Here vertices of triangle are given as A 1 2 B 9 comma 2 and C has coordinates 5 comma 6 is mapped on triangle PQR by reflection along x-axis. Draw and label triangle ABC and PQR. Here horizontal line is x-axis and vertical line is y-axis. Now plotting a comma 2 b 9 comma 2 means on x-axis it is 9 boxes and on y-axis it is 2 boxes. Now c is 5 comma 6 means x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 6. After plotting draw the triangle as shown. If we measure the perpendicular distance of vertices of object triangle to the line of reflection x-axis, then A has two boxes away from line of reflection. 
B is two boxes from line of reflection and C is six boxes from line of reflection. In order to draw the image after the reflection along x axis, we know that corresponding vertices of object and image are equidistant from the mirror. P corresponds to A is two boxes from x axis. Q corresponds to B is two boxes away from x axis. And R corresponds to C is six boxes from x axis. Drawing the image triangle PQR as shown. So the coordinates of PQR are P1, comma minus 2, Q9, comma minus 2, R5, comma minus 6. Notice that x coordinates are not changed, but y coordinates are changed their signs. Another example reflection along y axis. This is our y axis. Triangle has vertices A 3,2, B 3,7, and C 7,4 is mapped onto triangle PQR. So ABC is object triangle and PQR is image triangle. Now plotting vertices A 3,2 that is x is equal to 3, y is equal to 2 b 3 7 x is equal means x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 7 and c 7 4 means x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 4 now drawing object triangle abc as shown now drawing perpendicular distance from vertices abc to line of reflection y axis Distance of A to Y axis is 3 boxes. Distance of C to Y axis is 7 boxes. Distance of B to Y axis is 3 boxes. Now extending the same perpendicular distances from line of reflection to get the corresponding vertices P, Q, R of image triangle. After getting the vertices, it is easy to draw the image triangle. The coordinates of P is minus 3 comma 2. The coordinates of Q is minus 3 comma 7. The coordinates of R is minus 7 comma 4. So we so Y coordinates are not changed as shown and sine of X coordinates are changed. Another example in reflection along y is equal to x triangle abc is reflected to triangle pqr along y is equal to x draw and label triangle abc and pqr here abc is object triangle and pqr is image triangle plotting vertex a having x is equal to 4 y is equal to 2 B having x is equal to 8, y is equal to 2. C having x is equal to 8, y is equal to 4. Plotting the triangle ABC as shown, this is our object triangle. We can draw perpendicular line with the help of set of a square. The angle should be 90 degree from the reflected line as shown. Now we can draw the perpendicular distance from vertex A to mirror line, perpendicular distance from B to mirror line, perpendicular distance from C to mirror line. Now A is one box away from line of reflection, B is three box away and C is two boxes away from line of reflection. Now adjusting the set of a square on the line of reflection to make 90 degree from it to get perpendicular distance of corresponding vertices of image. Now drawing the image triangle PQR, notice that the extended lines make 90 degree from line of reflection as shown.
labeling the corresponding vertices of image as PQR. The coordinates of P is 2,4, the coordinates of Q is 2,8 and the coordinates of R is 4,8. So in reflection along the line y is equal to x, x and y coordinates are interchanged. Another example in reflection along the line y is equal to minus x in which the object triangle has vertices a is equal to minus 5 comma 1 b is equal to minus 8 comma 1 and c minus 8 comma 3 is reflected along y is equal to minus x draw and label triangle a b c and p q r the line of reflection y is equal to minus x is shown in the red line Plotting x is equal to minus 5 and y is equal to 1. b minus 8 comma 1 means x is equal to minus 8, y is equal to 1. And c minus 8 comma 3 means x is equal to minus 8 and y is equal to 3. Now drawing the object triangle ABC as shown. In the last example, we use set of square to draw perpendicular distance. But another straightforward way is to count the boxes to draw the perpendicular line from vertex A to the line of reflection as shown. Vertex C and B to line of reflection having 90 degree of angle. A is 2 boxes away from line of reflection. B is 3.5 boxes and C is 2.5 boxes away from line of reflection. Now drawing the equidistant lines on the other side of line of reflection to get the corresponding vertices of image triangle PQR. Now drawing image triangle as shown. The extended lines of image triangle make 90 degree from line of reflection. Vertex A has its corresponding vertex P, B has its corresponding vertex Q. C has its corresponding vertex R. Now the coordinates of P is minus 1 comma 5, Q is minus 1 comma 8 and R is minus 3 comma 8. So in reflection along line Y is equal to minus X, X and Y coordinates are interchanged as well as their signs also reversed as shown. So this is the end of our lecture. In the upcoming lecture, we will solve the past paper related to the reflection. And if you have any problem, then please ask me in the comment section. I will respond to you. Thank you very much.